Hey everyone, this is Clan Gaming here, back with another part of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2. Now, in the last part, I collected the crystal and two gems or everything from Turtle Woods. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, why am I on the loading screen? Well, purely because I recorded this earlier on my first attempt, but Audacity froze up on me and then it started to lag my commentary, so I was like, no, nah, that's not worth keeping, I'm gonna do it again. So, uh, I hope you enjoy this part and, uh, well, We'll see what happens. Now, there is another cutscene that triggers here, so um, without further ado, I'll let you listen to this cutscene. So, you were helping Cortex gather crystals, yet you have acquired a gem. Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash, <laughs> no, this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to, to, to stop you! <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must g g gather the gems, not the crystals! If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to focus a laser, <laughs> a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he's created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering. Now that that cutscene with Brio actually came on like when I did this first try, and as we go in the snow goal, well, I did this first try, and the cutscene actually aired after I got the crystal and the gem from snow goal. So I have to do this again due to audacity. Urgh. Don't know why audacity likes to lag on me. It's like as soon as like, oh, you're doing a perfect one, I'll just lag on your commentary. I really don't like that when that happens. But um, anyway, um, I explained in, in this part that um, I quite like the fact that they did a snow level for this game. It's definitely a change anyway, because um, uh, the only other time I think they only did a snow level like this in the Naughty Dog era, they only did snow levels in the platforming levels, I think, not until... Um, the Wrath of Cortex, which was on the PS2, and Traveler's Tales developed that game. Now, hopefully, Audacity doesn't screw up on me again. Now, for the penguins, um, and I didn't mention this in my first take, but um, when the penguins spin, um, uh, they won't, um, like, you won't be able to damage them. Instead, you'll be damaged if you, if you spin into them while they're spinning. But you can still jump on them though, and uh, once you jump on them after they stop spinning, you can get some Wumper Fruit from them, depending on how many times you jumped on them. But um, I'm going to keep a close eye on Audacity again, but it was weird how it just froze up on me. I don't know whether it's just this computer getting old, because I've had like this computer that I'm using right now, I've had since uh, 2008. So this computer is now officially four years old. So, or a laptop even. I'm recording this on a laptop, not an actual desktop computer, but, um... And I, could, I couldn't have used my MacBook because my MacBook isn't compatible with the HTTP VR. And, um... Yeah, um, but I said as well that Naughty Dog uh, never fails to impress me with their games. For example, like the Crash Bandicoot series, the, uh... Jack and Daxter series. I played the first game of Jack and Daxter, but not like the uh, um, like the second or third ones, but I'll get around to doing those. And in case you didn't know, at the top there, there's a, an exclamation mark box that gets these two boxes activated. Now, I didn't actually know this until like uh, I watched uh, someone's video and thinking, how in the heck did I miss that? <laughs> That's what I was thinking to myself, like, uh, after I watched them, like, wow, I, c I cannot believe I missed that. But whatever. Um, we've completed Snow Go, we've got the the c crystal and the clear gem again. Well, technically, yeah, I know I didn't get them, like, in this part, but, like, in the first part, I did get them. So, we'll just skip the dance, and uh, I do like the dance, but it, it just saves time. And we'll go to Hang 8. 
Now, there's two gems to get in this, a clear gem for getting the boxes, and the second one, well, you'll find out for yourself, and I'll explain as I go along. Now, we don't need that platform to get across, and we'll just avoid that piranha fish. Oh my god, and I should have swipe jumped over that as well. At least I didn't get a checkpoint though, that's the main thing now. The one thing that I can definitely say that I like about this game is that, um, uh, that like, in the first game, uh, when you got, um, no, that's better, um, when you got, when you die in, in the game after you get a checkpoint, your box count is saved. So you don't have to, like, restart the, from the entire level again with the boxes, which is a good thing. Come on. There we go, run, run, run. I need to beat that clock to get that second gem. Nice. There's a blue gem that I can go on, but I'm not concerned about that. Now, I remember, like, forgetting the crystal in this when you're racing against the time limit. I remember that, like, I was seeing a glitch when I played this, that, um, like, the crystal was grey instead of its usual colour, which is weird. Don't know why it had that colour, I don't know why it was all black and white. But anyway, um, we get the gem, and now we're gonna kill ourselves again because I didn't get a checkpoint. Now, I better hope to god that this, that audacity doesn't screw up on me once again, because if it does, I'm not going to be very happy. Anyway, let's jump again. Sorry about that horrible fail earlier, you can probably get your walls out for that. Um, now we can get the checkpoints as we're getting the boxes. Now, uh, there's something new in the water level so you can actually go on a jet ski. Which I think is pretty cool. And there's whirlpools. You can boost as I did like to beat the clock and the uh, like to get the second gem. As we go to the bonus round. Now, when I came to the bonus round here, this is when Audacity started to screw with me. It's like, it completely froze on me, and I'm like, okay, why did you freeze on me? Come on. Come on. Don't know how on earth I put that box, but whatever. Yeah, it, it screwed up on me, and um, I wasn't very best pleased, and I'm hoping uh, that it doesn't do it again. I like the music for this bonus round as well. I mean, I like the music for the water levels. I mean, it's one of my favourites in this game. It's like um, when you listen to like the, the riffs and stuff, um, like from the guitars. It's like they're rocking out. Now, this is the blue gem path. It's like it's rocking out, and it's like, it feels like the levels like kind of cool and tense at the same time. Now, the music drastically changes if you're going on like a gem path, a skull path, uh, well, a death path is what it's called. If you're going on those paths, the music drastically changes to like a more like well, dramatic music. It's like the the like music and like a, it, it's good to emphasise like the intensity that is the uh, the the death path or the gem path or whatever. I'm hoping I don't die here. Yes, there we go. Be careful with those nitros. And I'll need to go back to collect these unless I went over that ramp for some reason. Oh, it was close. Now, be careful here in case I run into any of these bombs. Right, okay. Use the rest of the boxes, and then we'll just get these, and we'll finish the path from there. Uh, somehow I never went on the ramp again. Now I went on the ramp, and I went in the wrong direction. Oh, there we go. Sometimes it can be a bit weird when you're going on the ramps and stuff. Now. When I was younger, I tried to get across to the, that platform where the the, the Venus flytraps were, but um, where the plants were, but um, I never managed to get there because it was 
just too hard. I wondered if there was like another secret or something across there, but um, I was wrong. There was... Oh my god. Yeah, I tried to take a shortcut, but it was not worth the risk. Alright, I'm back. Now, um, I had to go through that gem path again since I got a checkpoint there. Which was kind of annoying, so I'm hoping I don't die again. Right, this time I'm not taking the risk. Now, the controls in this game are so much better than the first game. Because the first game's controls were just awkward as hell. Um, but you can easily control Crash in this game, that's another thing I like about it. And I'll need to finish this level quickly because I'm nearly running out of time. But I'll probably run down to something like, what, maybe 10 minutes or something? Like, well, maybe, I, I don't know, but I'll probably run to maybe approximately 10 minutes for this part. But, um, as we get rid of this plant. And we get the second gem. That's we got us we got all the boxes. And we finish hang eight officially. And um we're gonna count out the things that we got in this level. One, the crystal, two, one clear gem, and the other clear gem. Now I'm gonna skip a dance again and here's the next cutscene. Three crystals. Not bad. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. He says he's running low on power, but whatever he says, he's in a space station, so I don't see why he's running low on power, but whatever. Um, anyway, that's the end of the second part of Crash Bandicoot 2. I hope you enjoyed this part. If you did, be sure to like the video, comment down below for your thoughts, and subscribe down below as well. Yes, everyone's now down below. Um, subscribe down below for uh, more Crash Bandicoot 2 and more Crash Bandicoot LPs in the future. Until then, this is Clan Gimme here signing off, and I'll see you guys next time for more Crash Bandicoot 2. Till then, see you later and goodbye.